Get ready for college hoops on 2K Sports. The Georgetown Hoyas battle. Welcome the to a new series. We're really excited to bring you this matchup. 2K Hi there, everyone. We're here at the Ted Constant Convocation to keep Center baby alive. in Norfolk, Virginia. Today I'm Vern Lundquist alongside Bill Raftery and our sideline reporter Tracy squad. Wilson. Give us your I'm take, Jay. Bill. This game We're features a great matchup at the point guard position. Hoyas. Number four is a superb this point guard. He has a knack for always making the right decision. decision. When he's on, he We're can drive the defenders crazy. UK19 Number three is also well, right up there with the best point guards in the country. Such a skilled here. passer you got that he can't help to make everyone point around him better. James Both look to lead their teams to a win. Joining him we'll see, will be we'll another stud. Point guard out of Virginia, Mac McClung. The freshman, there you see the start lineups. You got James Akinjo, you got Mac McClung. Going at it, old man. Sit back and enjoy the game. Catch y'all in a little bit. Swings it to the wing. Stiff, nice little crossover. Number four. Stone in the way. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Feeds it to the wing. By yourself, by yourself. Four, three. Reese yanks it down inside. Reese with a great offensive rebound there. He worked so hard to establish position. A little too aggressive right there. I like that he's not afraid to be physical, but that was too much. Makes the first. He's off on the second. Feeds, top of the key. Manny from deep. Corralled by Robinson. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Last basket on the mark by number 13. Manning inbounds the ball. Passes like that make it so easy for the shooter. One on one. Rises and dishes. Top of the key. McClung takes it up. Reese pulls it in. Just over 13 minutes left in the half. Georgetown is going to have to work hard to establish some chemistry, Vern, and quickly. Because this is a young lineup that hasn't played with each other very long. Puts it up. The offensive board gathered by Robinson. There's no arguing that call. He definitely got hacked. As you guys can see, so far I'm struggling a little bit. It's been a while since I've played this game. I uh, just got back into it a couple days ago, and I felt like I should share it with everybody. Knocks keep it down thing the alive. One. still a popular game. I don't see too many videos on it, but the controls have changed a lot since 2K8 to 2K19. Um, so it's going to take some getting used to. Bear with me, and hopefully we can pull out this win. LeBlanc inbounds the ball. Crosses it over. Number three, bounces it to the left. Number 50, hands it off. LeBlanc gets it down low. Manning from 17 feet out. Robinson hauls it in. That's his fourth rebound thus far. Robinson went after that rebound hard. Great work. They're up seven to zero. Number three, passes it up court. Manning 
to end the run. Snatched by number 13. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. Just before the game, I talked with Coach Jones. Playing against a team that has the ability to create so many second-chance opportunities, he said it is extremely important that his players do not get lazy boxing out their man. Giving up extra possessions to a team like this will kill us, he told me. Thank you, Tracy. McClung with the shot. Stiff grabs it. Under 12 minutes left in the half. That's what I call a little intimidation. Didn't go up strong enough, and you saw the result. Catches it. Left side. Reese passes it back to the left wing. Nice catch on that last lead by number four. Coach Thompson saw something out there he didn't like, and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. Number 50 inbounds the ball. McClung with the crossover. Crosses it up. Got him guessing with a head fake. And converted by number three. There we go. He's got finally on the scoreboard. And it's an eight to ten. Game. There's no get question going, what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Minimum. Beats it to the left side. Stiff. Number four, 14 feet out. Number three, corrals the mess inside. Look at this little guy, getting it done down low. You love to see him in there. Last shot dunked down by McClung. Dicey pass, throws it up. Nice job on the assist by number four. They extend the lead to eight. Leads him with the pass. Dumps it down low. At the last 11-footer made by number 15. It's so important to convert those easy chances on the inside. Nice work. Stiff gets it. Far side. Pass down low. Number 15 inbounds the ball. Number three. Has it. Top of the key. Backs in. Number 50. Shoots it. And the ball will land out of bounds after the errant shot. Under 10 minutes left in the half. Number 13, dumps it off, goes up. The up fake was a good one, and so was the layup by Stiff. And they now go up by 10. Skips it to the right side. Number 15, takes the shot, comes up empty from nine feet. This obviously isn't the way they wanted to start the game, Burn. They're already forcing themselves into a catch-up mode. Reese dishes to the top of the key. Puts it up. Collected inside by LeBlanc. Uses the crossover. McClung lets it go. Nails it from the elbow. And they're now behind by eight. Under nine minutes left in the half. Stiff has it. High post. Dishes outright. Yanked down by number 15. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Sizing up his man. Number 15. McClung, the crossover. Throws it up. They rule this one goaltending. Count the shot. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. 2K has really come a long way. When you look Robinson at this game, inbounds the ball. at the time, it Number was amazing. Four. It's still Brings amazing. It, court. it really was ahead of its time. I mean, it's still a fun game to play. It's just the controls are different. Obviously, the graphics Misses the aren't as but they're still used out in front to today. 
but for 2K8, I mean, it's pretty good. And if Number you really have his time, the gameplay is good. Line. Just takes Left a lot of getting used to it. The controls are a lot different. What an offensive rebound. I, just, I miss the layups. I'm really looking bad out here. But it's going to take some time to get back used to the controls and the buttons. But I want to really point out the, wing. the guys who keep this game alive. They really do a good job with these rosters. This is the 2K. This is the 2019 rosters. Um, it's pretty accurate. There's a few Number people four. here and there that you would spot. But overall, they did a really good job. The players Still seem a six to play. Point lead. Somewhat like they're supposed to. I think it was Matt McClung. Uh, Matt McClung. Virginia actually broke Allen Iverson's Virginia all-time school and high school record. Good shots will come if you don't rush them. But shout out to the guys who, who do the roster. And if you're looking for them, you can find them over at Operation Sports in the forums. You just got to search it. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. But enjoy the rest of the uh, gameplay, guys. I'll check back in a Number 50 bit. inbounds the ball. Number three from way outside. Number 22 snatches the rebound. Poor shot choice, Vern. You've got to have quality possessions. It's deflected, and it's picked up by Georgetown. Uh, not a good entry pass, Vern. You just can't force it in there. Morning takes it up. Tough fade away in the lane by number 15. They cut it to six. About six and a half minutes left in the half. Old Dominion takes its first time out of the game. Well, let's get back to the action. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Reese inbounds the ball. Goes to the crossover. Has it. Right wing. Number 13 skips it to the free throw line. Number 2 takes the shot. Number 20 snatches it down inside. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Number 5. Dishes it to the left. Nice little crossover. Number 13 wipes the board off the window. Under six minutes left in the half. Manny is having a hard time getting his shot to go, Vern. You just hope it doesn't wreck his confidence, but it's hard to see how it wouldn't. Feeds outright from the wing. Grabbed by Reese. Reese pulled down that offensive board like it was no problem. What a battler. Shooting two. He can't get the first. Walker makes his first appearance. Makes his first appearance. Number 20 inbounds the ball. Number 20 backs down. Shoots from the post. It's good. But they're still down by five. Just over five minutes left in the half. Here's the spin move. Gets it. Right wing. Number two. Hands it off. Stiff. Crosses it over. Stolen by number five. Wonderful job of denying the basketball that time. Great pick. Hammered in on that last dunk. Run the break and take it to the tin. Oh, do they love to get out and run. Number two. Brings it up the floor. Number 13 passes to the stripe. 
Baseline. Dishes it to the left wing. By yourself, by yourself. Stiff. Two strong. But they still lead by three. Nice little crossover. Number 20 has it. Out left. Passes. Corner. Mosley pulls the trigger. Can't tie it up. With nobody around, he still couldn't convert. Sometimes you can be too wide open. Stiff. Catches it. Left wing. That last long two was missed by number two. He got it up there, but it just wouldn't fall. With a little more touch, it might have. Walker passes to the left side. Left side. To tie it up. The shot was knocked down by number five. The Monarchs will take a timeout. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Robinson inbounds the ball. Number four to stop the run. Walker gets the board inside. You've just got to hit that shot when you've got that much space. Mosley with the crossover. Morning to give them the lead. Connects. They're ahead. 21 to 19. Number four has had some difficulties. They've got their defense and it's man, man. Feeds it to the baseline. Number two keeps it alive on the offensive end. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Uses the crossover. One on one. No good on the last layup by Walker. 2.29 left in the first half. It doesn't matter how far you've got to go to get them, Vern. Every rebound is essential. Number 22. Gets it. Left wing. Behind the arc. Off target by number four. They're still down eight. Number five from 17 feet out. Number 20 reels it in. Number 22 inbounds the ball. The Monarchs will try to end this run. Coach Jones wants to talk it over with his troops. Hey, if you've got the timeouts, you might as well use them. You can't take them to the bank with you. Fires. Buried from beyond the arc by number three. He's two for eight from deep. Number five. Takes a three. Robinson pulls it down. 130 left in the first half. Number 13 from eight feet. A little long, but it goes in. He's got six. Shoots. 17-footer missed by McClung. I wouldn't bet on him missing that one again. Bounces it to the right. Number four from 20 feet out. McClung gets the rebound. They're still up by one. McClung goes to the crossover. Robinson grabs it, and that's his eighth rebound of the contest. The finisher. Well, the D did a nice job of disrupting him a little bit. That's tough work down low. They're now up by three. It's deflected, but it's tracked down by number 20. Morning has it outright. That last shot, good from just inside the line. 
dynamite bounce pass. The D never saw it coming. Saw it going, though, right into the net. By yourself, by yourself. Number two takes a three. Number 22 grabs the rebound inside. That last layup was missed by Robinson. That takes us to halftime. Score. There you have it. Half time it was a struggle. 25. First half was a big time struggle. We're going back and forth. How about the happenings in the first half? Oh, really in the Both sides look like they're pretty evenly matched for this could seem be to get together to a little a bit. We made a little bit of a comeback. Took the lead for a few minutes. And then uh took my starters out. I think my rotation is okay. Let's see who we have as well. Uh, it looks like they're up the right now. Well, we'll try to do better in the second half. And then some burn. He's been the catalyst for the entire tremendous effort from our player of the half. As you can see here, Mac McClung, my boy Mac McClung, shooting three for eight, leading the way with six points so far. We need, uh, we need Goldman to step up a little bit in the second half. He's only 2 for 6, but he's supposed to be a stud. Trey Morning, Alonzo Morning, son off the bench with a good 4 points and 2 rebounds. And Kenjo, we need you to step up. So let's get the second half going, guys. We're all set to begin the second half. Coach Jones may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions, because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. Number 15, inbounds it to start the second half. Let's check in with Tracy Wilson. During halftime, I talked with Coach Thompson III. He told me his team is down, but he's going to push the issue even more in the second half to make a comeback. He went on to say that he wasn't going to mix up his rotation, even though he knows he has talent on the end of his bench. He felt that the players he used in the first half give him the best chance of winning this game, and he won't stray from that game plan. Back to you. Nice work, Tracy. Knocks down the first one. He gets the second to fall as well. The crossover. Number three. Dumps it off. Back. Out left. From 18 feet away. Hits the layup. He's one for four for the game. Number 13. Catches it. Right wing. To the elbow. Puts up the tray. Pulled in by number 15. And that's his fifth rebound in this one. The defense was up to the challenge on that shot. Good job closing on the shooter. Number 15. Number three goes to the crossover. Oh my goodness, the D was there, but there's nothing he can do when he makes that kind of adjustment. Reese inbounds the ball. Stiff gets it on the elbow. That last 18-footer was off the mark. The Hoyas still hold a narrow lead. If he can't make it from that distance, they'll never guard it. He probably shouldn't be taking that shot. Last tray off the mark by number three. Dumps it inside. The offensive rebound corralled by number 13. He'll take the foul. That defender clearly got some contact as he tried to make the shot. Yep, that's an open and shut case. He got hit. And he makes the first. He gets them both. 
Number 15 inbounds the ball. Just over 13 minutes left in the second half. Number three with the shot. Can't connect on the quick shot. They're still down three. Goes up. And here's the State Farm drive of the game. This guy is fun to watch, Fern. He can really fill it up. Georgetown has not been able to shut down the inside game at all. Tracy is by their bench with a report. Coach Thompson III is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. Desperate measures here, Vern. All right, Tracy. Reese has it inside. That's not a finish to hoop, Vern. Take it up strong. The Hoyas are really struggling. Number three dumps it to the inside. The break is on. He was trying to thread the needle, Vern. There just wasn't enough space for that pass. Coach Thompson saw something out there he didn't like, and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. We were struggling right now. We're happy to be here. The inbounds the ball. The student section sounds pretty really excited for them. I think they like what they're seeing. Those fans are a special group. There's some open shots. They can't make them. They can't make them. They can't make them. They can't make them. I need my key guys to step up. up. So far, they have not been stepping up. Rips down the offensive rebound. This crowd couldn't be any happier. Just listen to the people in this building. Get us back in the game. Uses the crossover. Number 50 snatches it down inside. And they call goaltender. They'll give him the buck. Right wing. Stiff hands it off. Great rebound. The big fellow's not afraid to do the dirty work, Burn. Just over 11 minutes left in the second half. Dishes it to the left wing. Shoots it. Got into the paint. And the offensive board by number 15. The last bucket down low was dropped in. This fella is a fantastic offensive player, Vern. That kind of defense just isn't going to cut it against him. Number 13. Beats it to the wing. Stiff. The bank shot won't fall. But they're still up by foul. McClung catches it on the free throw line. The three-pointer was no good by Manning. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Dishes, right wing. Stiff hits it. 15 points, and he leads all in scoring. They're playing man to man here, though. Number 15. Try to run some sets, but finally get the ball movement going a little bit. We finally got to the free throw line. I think it's our first, first two free throws of the game. Now the that first looks one. like Gouvon has stepped up, stepped up his game a little bit and getting some rebounds and putbacks inside and makes a tough people here. And he'll come away the one, one of two. Landing with the Manning offensive releases. rebound putback. That's it's huge. It's good. That's nice offensive rebound. He's shooting 33% for the game. Has it. Right wing. Number 13 passes it to the right wing. Top of the key. Number four, nice little crossover. Dumps it inside. Oh, beautiful pass. Reeled in by number 15. What a good job on the defense to make him think about that shot. Number three. Dishes to the left.
Feeds left wing. Number four. Unloads. Misses the three. They're still up by far. Stolen by number 13. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. And they go up by seven. Number three has had a terrible game so far. Gets it. Down low. McClung feeds it. Down low. Perimeter. Pulls the trigger. No good from downtown. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Stiff. Goes up. Nice lay in off the glass by number four. They're in front, 45 to 36. Just over eight minutes left in the second half. Manning beyond the arc. Robinson grabs the rock. When a shot like that comes around, you've got to hit it. They just dared him to shoot. Robinson gets it. Middle from deep. Bounced off the front rim by Stitt. But they're still out in front by nine. McClung unloads. Misses the trade. They're still two back. Bounce pass. Out left. Takes the shot. Good from downtown by Skip. He's shooting. Coach Thompson is going to let his team have it. He just can't be happy with the run that they've had just now. will make some substitutions. Manny inbounds the ball. The Hoyas with some difficulties. Trey Morning with a big flush there on the fast break. I'm not sure what they're pressing me. They're trying to get some turnovers. If you notice, we, we switched over to the 2 3 defense and we've been getting a lot Stiff. more stops. Uh, they hit a couple corner threes. It off. As Number they four. should. Shoots. We really brought in a team of good shooters. And we've been able to take the advantage Just over of their offense. Left in the second half. But we're not Matches scoring. Right That's the time right now. Getting, the getting some open looks. And this kid knocking down the Kendra with an open look. Georgetown is having big problems from beyond the arc. And I think Tracy has something for us on that. Tracy? Coach Thompson III gathered his guys on the sidelines a few minutes ago and told them to forget about their last shot and work hard to get open for their next one. He said, keep shooting. The shots will start to fall. Thanks, Tracy. Manny lets it go. Off target from downtown. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. Kicks it out to the outside. Takes it up. Fouled hard there. We'll get two free throws. We're going to have to switch it back to man here since we're down by so much. Um, we're going to have to switch it back to man and put some pressure on him. Hopefully force him into some can't turnovers. And make a couple baskets. Because that's what's killing us right now. We just can't score. We can't score at all. If you can't score, you can't win in basketball. He sinks the second. The Monarchs will bring out some reserves. Manning inbounds the ball. About six and a half minutes left in the second half. Morning. Number three. Throws it up. Number five. Snatches the offensive rebound. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane. And that time, they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. Off target on the last shot by Green. Number three was out of bounds there, and that will cost them possession. He lost track of where he was, Vern. That's just not heads-up basketball. Hooked away, but it's recovered by Reese. Crosses it up. The tray off the mark by Green. They still have a 14-point lead. 
passes to the wing. Number 20, can hit from beyond the arc. The D got away with one there. He had space to shoot, and he usually doesn't miss those. That last three ball is drained by Green. Number 20, inbounds the ball. Georgetown is really struggling. The crossover. He got fouled and still almost made it. He'll go to the line for two shots. He misses the first. One thing I really don't like about this game now, that I look back at it with the free throw shooting. He's going to come away. They zoom too far line. into the shooter and it's very hard to get a perspective. Number four. Picks it up. Lays it in off the bushes. They've now thrown in and he's made it. Number three has had some difficulties. With the crossover. Dumps it off. Number 20. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time they tried to sneak once more. The big guy has spoken. Gets it. Right wing. Number four. They will this one goaltender. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. I can't figure out. And I'm looking into this. I can't figure Morning. out how to set picks. Inbounds the ball. The only thing the I can find will try to put a stop is a quick pick run. and roll play, but that's about it. I won't be able to call picks on it the fly. Puts it up. I just can't seem to find it. And it's going to make the thing difficult. Sensational block. They're playing really good defense, and I can't get any separation. Left side. Gets the ball. Not time. Trey, Trey Moore has been able to knock down some mid-range shots, but he's just not getting much help. Number two, fires, brings it from downtown. He's got five. Here's the double team. McClung tosses it up court. Bold pass. That's not usually the spot on the floor where you see the double team, but it worked there. Number 30. Can't get the jumper to fall, but they still lead by 23. Nice little crossover. With the shot. The three-point shot was offline by number five. Oh, not real good shot selection, Vern. They've got to exercise a little patience and move the ball around. Skips it to the free throw line. Number 30 catches it. Left wing. The last shot missed from three-point range. He missed that one, but if they keep leaving him that open, they'll eventually pay for it. One-on-one. -on -one. No good on that last shot by McClung. The last shot laid gently in. That's too easy. The D's got to get on him before he gets to the rim. Skip pass. Left wing. Number two. Has it. Right wing. No good on the three by Green. But they're still out in front by 21. Number five, the crossover. You gotta love the help defense on that one. He came out of nowhere to reject the shot. Number two, bounces it to the top of the key. Number 22, puts it up. Number 15, hauls it in off the glass. Number 15 is one basket away from a double-double. Shoots it. No luck on the three-pointer by McClung. The D wasn't too worried about that one. Gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they prefer the long three over him driving it in. Team foul. Shooting two. And he makes the first. He gets the second to fall as well. Number 15 inbounds the ball. The Hoyas have got a lot of ground to make up. McClung raises up. It falls short. Heavy pressure kept him from getting a good look. Tough miss. Passes it to the left side. 
Number 22 crashes the boards. Finished nicely down low on that last shot. Now's the time typically when the coach empties his bench. Well, it's no time to wear your starters out at this point or risk injury. Crosses it over. That shot missed by McClung. Green. Dishes it to the left. Releases. Missed down low by number 15. Passes to the elbow. Number 30. From the wing. Number 20 grabs the rebound. But they're still up by 27. Stolen by Old Dominion. Uh, not a good entry pass, Fern. You just can't force it in there. Last attempt off the mark by number five. Perimeter feeds it to the right wing. McClung. Green corrals the long rebound. He didn't have a lot of room out there, and it kept him from getting comfortable on that shot. For three. Number 30 pulls it in. Passes it to the wing. Dropped in by Green. They should hold on to the lead, Vern. If they play smart, they can walk away with the win. Number 20 has it on the inside. McClung pulls the trigger. Number 22 inbounds the ball. At this level, you have to be able to match your opponent. Well, we've seen them trade threes. Now, can anyone force a stop? Well, you know, thanks for watching. So I could give you a better video. I love my butt looks. Number it's four. terrible. Don't you know, work on the game. Crossover. The you know, play a little bit off the line. He gets hammered. And get the controls Good. down. It takes a, it's a big adjustment period from this to NBA 2K19. But we'll get it together. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Move. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. I'll get at y'all later. He gets it! Wade checks in for the first time. He gets them both. That's all for this one. Romano.